Yeah, yeah, I'm back, 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 I'm back. So I feel like we've been cons- consistent recently, like super, super consistent, you know. And hold on, let me just turn this off. I just remembered that if I don't, then the battery will finish. Yeah. Um, let me, oh, hold on. Hold on, I have to grab a cable quickly, hold on. Yeah, okay, I got the cable, right? I just wanted to plug my phone and let it charge for a bit while we are here. So new developments last time i was on here i showed you all my screen i want to show you all my screen again right look look at my screen y'all look at my ish ish switch the hell off look at this y'all look at this just look at this so yeah my phone cracked y'all my phone cracked and yeah it's bad like it fell once and like, <sighs> Hold on. but either way, you know, what can we say? It's, it is what it is, you know, we can't complain. Um, I just want to say that right now, though, I'm really not in the mood for shooting an iTalk episode. I really don't feel like talking right now. I really don't, but hopefully the more I talk, the more I get into talking and feel like talking, (laughs) I guess, if that, if that makes sense. But either way, I I don't feel like talking right now. I just feel like being in my own world. Um, Yeah, yeah, no, crazy, crazy things. But yeah, that's, that's besides the point because I got to do this for the people. I got to do this because I've, I'm deciding. I'm deciding to be more consistent with the content, you know. So it, it, this is what it's going to come with, you know. This is what it's going to come with. Um, pff, there's nothing we can do, right? So let me just check. Okay. At least it's on like 95%. So I'm good. I'm good. But I just want to look at some of the topics, see if I've, there's anything I find interesting currently to talk about. Um, oh, damn. Okay. 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 So, 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 um, I, I wrote this down. It's about a low hunger, right? Ish. The cables are all messed up. I didn't tie them properly. This yeah, this episode is a bit uh, off, you know? But either way, the other day, right? I'm, I'm bringing a metaphor. Like, I wrote this down so I remember it. So, like, as soon as... Yeah. But either way, right? What had happened was I, I went to work in the morning, right? So... I get to work, I open, I go sign the registers and all that. So, man, every time I get to work, I'll chill outside first. So, I get to work um, a bit early. Not early, early, depending on which day. Sometimes I'm earlier than others. But generally, I get to work so I have some time to sit outside before I actually go inside, you know. So, yeah, um... When I sit outside, that's where I eat my breakfast, right? Uh, Because that's when I'd have gotten an appetite by then. Nearly said an airtight, but y'all don't know what an airtight is. But that's besides the point. Either way, either way. So when I was eating the other day, I was just, I ate, right? Why, Why was I eating that day? Let me try to remember. Let me try to go into the realm. Oh, I had a dumbbell, yeah. So I had a piece of dumbbell, right? If you don't know what dumbbell is, it's um, what do they call it? Uh, steamed bread. Yeah, it's steamed bread. I think it's called steamed bread. Yeah. Um. So I had that, right? So it was. It wasn't too much, right? It wasn't too much. So when I ate it, right, I I was like, okay, 
right now um i've eaten right but the thing is when you when i'm at work i i prefer to not get full because once i get full i get more tired and i just want to sleep at some point especially if it's hot so i ate just about enough where i was still hungry but i had food right so well, that takes so much discipline trust me it's like literally eating three three chips from a packet of doritos right and actually eating three chips but it's neither here nor there what i'm saying is i had that discipline to do that and i just thought about life right cuz 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 when i was when i was so you know you know some things right i i talk to myself i talk to myself a lot i'm talking to myself right now but this is not the talking to myself i'm talking about i'm talking about when i really talk to myself right i was telling myself that no bro you actually got to live a little hunger in there that's how i put it you always have to live a little hang out in there no matter what and i thought of it in life in general life terms right it's like you could work 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 but when you get to where you've been wanting to go you must never ever eat eat to get full because once you get full you get stagnant because you get comfortable there you understand so you must always leave a low hunger in there because wherever you go really in your life whether you're going to be uh like you know whatever entrepreneur whatever way you go you choose to go career path whatever you choose you always must leave in fact in fact some might argue that it might be with everything that probably relates to people i'm thinking cuz i'm thinking also with relationships you have to have a low hunger in there right cuz wait what would hunger mean in a relationship probably the hunger to get to know them better to spend time with them think about it think about it think about it actually actually this might be a bigger metaphor than i thought it is but either way yes now if you are full and you are super comfortable with that person there's no more hunger you know to go for more you know so once you leave a little hunger in there you always going to be golden you always going to be golden it's like a it's it's a it's more like a sweet spot type of thing right it's like you won't you won't really know how to get there until you like are there type of thing right it's not like i feel like i'm i'm losing you it's like you won't know what it is until you see it it's it's one of those things right it's like i know what i want but i just i don't know what it is but when it comes i'll know that it's it there's there's just there's this certain feeling of not knowing something but n- when 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 it's here and you like see it you feel like you've known it and that this was actually it right so it's a lot of gut feeling stuff yes it's a lot of gut feeling stuff i go with my gut a lot of the time you know my gut has actually saved me a lot of times yo a lot of times you know one of the things i i go with is that if like a thought so like okay let's say um let's say what am i about to do <sighs> I don't know. Let's say I'm about to do something, something random. Um I'm about to leave the house and go somewhere. If I'm about to leave literally and the first thought I get is why are you leaving? Don't go. I'm definitely staying. I'm definitely staying, especially if my life is at risk, right? I'm definitely not leaving because my gut feeling has always 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 got me out of you know a lot of stuff that i look back and be like 
imagine if I didn't do this. And usually, right, it's a matter of seconds thing, right? It, like my gut feeling will be like, it would be like, if um, I remember there was this time, right? There was a time um, I was, I was, okay, this was way back. I have to preface this, right? This was way back when we used to do uh, other stuff. Yeah. But either way, what had happened was we were in this place that we had allegedly broken into, right? My friend and I, right? And then like my gut feeling was like, so, so, okay. The, the, that place, it was like a class, right? I'm not going to say which school, but it was way back. We're still in school. So it was like in like, um, there were, um, what you call different floors. So like it was on the last floor, which was the third floor. Right. So there was one of those classes that, you know, people never use, but it had a lot of shit in it. Yeah. It was like one of those. So allegedly we're um, broken into it as kids, obviously, you know, you know, when you're a kid, man, you do stupid stuff. So my gut instinct told me literally at that second, right. It told me like, we got to leave with the window, right? Because now we're done with, with, with taking whatever we're taking. So it was time to dip, right? So I climb out the window, right? The nice thing, is, it, it had those big butlers. Uh, butlers are burglar bars. For those of you who don't know what butlers are or think I'm talking about a butler. Either way, that's besides... Either way. So they had big ass butlers. So I was climbing down we had to climb down them right so as soon as we jump out the window right we hear the door of that class like someone is trying to unlock the um, the keychain that was there okay so okay 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 now you're confused for us to break into the we had there was a, a window right with like um a small hole right and then my friend at the time, I forgot what he used, but he broke more of it. That's how that person who came there knew that there were people there because he heard the glass, you know, shatter. Because that nigga, and I even shouted at him because like, I was like, how are we getting in? Then he's like, no, don't worry, I've got an idea, right? Then I don't know what, I think I turned or I was going to do something. Next thing I'm hearing, you know, when the glass valley is falling, I'm like, damn, nigga, what are you doing, dog? You're making noise, dog. You're making noise. You know? Yeah, but it was fun times. Either way, my instinct right there, I thought about it. I was like, if we're still in that class for a second, just a second too long. He was literally going to see us because basically the windows are clear. Don't forget that, right? Well, the top ones, the windows are clear. So if as soon as you open the door, you could literally see, right? Even when you're outside, you could see in the class who was in there, right? So us jumping out, we had to like, get by the burglar bars so we can hide by the wall remember it's not like a it's not a full window it's like it's like the window will be this big then around it will just be the bricks right so we have to the burglar bars and it's they are attached to the bricks so you have to stand on like this side and hide from the window right then we waited there for a second um that person seem to not have the key so we ended up just jumping down and dipping but that was a scary scary time for me because but but back in school we used to do some crazy stuff man but the nice thing about school for me uh well high school when i say school i'm talking about high school because i mean oh yeah high school for south africans so I'm, I'm thinking americans have a different they have middle school which most south africans don't know what not most let's not say most some south africans probably don't know what middle school is but either way uh for americans my shenanigans were probably like middle school because wait what's middle school <laughs> look at me look at me look at me i literally just said 
some South Africans don't know what middle school is, and I'm asking y'all what's middle school. Um, it just goes to show, hey, that in life. Ooh, snap. Oh, okay. I forgot. I forgot. Yesterday, we were busy with my phone, so I, I swapped the sims. So now, my sim 1 has become sim 2, and my sim 2 has become sim 1, which makes it weird for me. I, I'll have to swap them back because I'm so used. My brain is so used to Sim 1 being Sim 1 and Sim 2. Sim, okay, let me say what grades are middle school in America? Okay, 6 to 8. Okay. Okay, was was it? Was it six to eight? Okay, so I was definitely in high school. It was in middle school. Because they say middle school is grade six to grade eight. So these shenanigans were for sure not in grade six or grade eight. Uh, it was definitely in high school. But we had a whole era where we were wild and wild and wild. And like we would literally be able to punk for the whole day. Like imagine punking school for a whole day while you're at school. How wild is that? That's crazy, right? But weirdly, I've, I've, I've always been quick to catch up, you know. So it's, it wasn't a problem for me. But yeah, what I wanted to say was my, my school... It had like this, no evidence, uh, it didn't happen type of policy. Hold on, let me switch off my data. Because right now it's going to be, the notifications are going to be coming in. Oh, no, I can't, I, yeah, let me switch off my data. Because I can't put it on silence. Because, yeah, either way, that's besides the point. But my school had a policy about, um, like, if there was no evidence, you didn't, technically do it type of thing yeah so there was a time where if we were doing something whether like you're smoking in school or doing something illegal or crazy in school like um the teachers whoever caught you right so it, it worked like this whoever caught you if it was a male teacher who, who had enough power to like catch you and run after you and stuff like that and he catches you in possession of whatever then it's chai for you. You cooked, basically. You know, you literally cooked. Like, there's no other way for you. But now, if it was like a more a female teacher, you know, females really can outrun a, a, a guy in high school. You know, it's it's rare for a female too. And we're talking of a teacher. So this person's probably in their forties, thirties, you know, and they think you think you're gonna run after a 17, 16 year old. That's that's crazy. That's crazy. You know, 16. That either way, that they they like at like they are they are like growing at that point and they they they've got energy, man. They've they are you know, you know, you understand what I'm talking about. But yeah, so in that case, then they had to snap a picture of you, right? So we had a whole era where you had to hide your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they'd put up with the video and like take videos of everyone and everyone's now talking like, yeah, 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 you know. But then, yeah. So now that policy is dope, right? But it fails sometimes. The thing is, you can't really prove on video much when we're hiding our faces and all that there's plausible deniability oh english you feel but when they got you in person they can definitely they can definitely 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 prove which yeah you've done it right so i remember there was a time we were banking right i think it was me uh, my friend at the time and um my other nigga i think it was if it wasn't pasta, was it, was it pasta or sipo? I'm not sure. I'm not sure who it was, but we're with the third person for sure. I just can't remember who it was. But the we're, we're in the bottom field, right? No, it might not have been them. It might have been that that boy. Uh, what was that boy? Ah, oh, flip. Ah, I forgot his name. But either way, either way, that's besides the point because y'all don't know all these people. All you know is I was there. So 
let's just say my friends and I, two of my friends and I. So, right, there's there's like um so in our field, right? There's a, there's a place, right? So it's like there's a balcony up there, right? So that watches over the whole field, right? And this is at the bottom field. So we had two fields, right? We had the top field, which was where everyone chilled at lunch and was the like the, the OG field, like everyone goes to that field. When you speak of the field, it's that field. Then we had the bottom field, which was like the more I think they they had um contracted it out to like a construction company or something but like there was some construction happening Jay, at the side of the field and i think they used to play like rugby or something there when when it used to be whatever but when my whole five years at that school uh i never um, i never saw like real proper sports getting played there maybe because i was never watching but yeah it was like one of those neglected neglected fields type of right but i have another story about how we tried to to um we allegedly tried to break into the tuck shop that was there but either way that's another story and the locker room i have so many stories from that school but i'm not i'm not gonna touch on that right now because of the time what I'm, I want to finish what I'm saying. So there was that young balcony up there, right? So um, my friends and I, so we, we used to chill under the trees, right? So imagine the, the balcony is here, the, the building with the balcony is here, right? Balcony is on here. You have to go all the way to here, right? This is where the stairs are and there's like trees so you can like camouflage and you can see people coming from far. And then when you look up there, you can literally see the school buildings. So you can see someone entering the, the first field coming in. So it's like, it's the best position possible. You can see all directions, right? So we were going from here, right? Where we were chilling, right? And so when you pass this, this, this uh balcony there's like a fence there where you can um call the guy across the road you know those guys that sell on the road you can call him to come by so yeah we were going there right so i we go there we go there we go there now we we, we like quiet and all that whatever we go there we buy we i think we chill there for a second I we start coming back hey when we start coming back we we like we're sneaking because we're like hearing people talking, right? Hearing people talking, hearing people. I think it was pasta. I honestly think it was pasta was there. I have a feeling it was pasta. I don't know why, but I have a feeling. But then one of my niggas um, looked up, right? And then that security looked down, right? And I looked at the, yo, it was like, that that split moment, like the security, the school security, the guy who catches you for actually punking, yes, he looked literally at me and I was like, Sean, I was, by that time, them niggas had dashed, right? I was gone, right? See, the, the, the thing is, why, why we had an advantage, firstly, is because, uh, firstly, is because God blessed us with some, finest legs that are lengthy enough to outrun a shorter person which we'd also thank god for blessing that security man with shorter legs just to make the competition fair you know gotta thank god for that then the second thing is here to go down the stairs because remember it's a balcony we are down here right so as soon as we dash we're going like in the field like we ran like the way we ran, we literally ran in the field. After when we got out, we had blackjacks all over. We went in the bushes trying to find because we knew. So every time we got there, we knew the escape route that, okay, if it's Shubas, we go ka, 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 and then we go there, right? So that was one of the days that we actually did. And I think that, that it probably happened at like 11, and we, we probably got back to school at what probably like two yeah because like we went around the neighborhood we were so spooked right because like the thing is it was one of the first times 
when we didn't understand that no evidence means they didn't do it right so we thought the guy probably went to snitch in the office right but that's when we unlocked that oh snap he never had any video he never caught us actually and took us to the office at that moment so like who's to say which he actually didn't you know and then we started using that to our advantage and like it was crazy it was crazy like the things would do but i mean yeah that's stories for another day either way this has been another episode of i talk um, and i just wanted you to know that if you just wanna watch another episode i'll suggest this one right here you see it yep you see this episode yes this is the one i'd actually suggest you actually go and tap into yeah thank you very much cheers <laughs>